be experimental. doing here. This is very experimental, people. <laughs> you got it here first. And I'm going to try to do it a little differently than I might have done it in the past, you know, keep, keep people guessing. once I'll take you somewhere different I'll be sincere I promise and you and I us this group we Sean myself and you people will go somewhere different because there's a window I can open there's a book I can open there's a door I can open and find myself somewhere uh, somewhere honest where maybe I can talk about things that I haven't talked about before to put it creatively, to make expression, to make words and diagrams and designs, to open my mouth and create more than just sounds, to become something surpassing just the audible, to become something surpassing just simplicity. I hope that simply somehow I might just surely say something that would resonate and leave certainly just some shrill sort of hiss going inside your brain. Because there are times when I sit back and I don't make jokes. There are times when I sit back and I make prayers. And I don't talk about my prayers all the time because to talk about your prayers, to talk about the things you say when there's no one around but potentially, possibly one person around to hear what's really there and what they, that one person, might already know, well, then, then you're saying things that are truly true to yourself and truly, 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 truly being an individual. I worry for a bride, I worry for a bride that's dirtied her dress and has lost sight or can't quite remember what the face of her groom looks like. I worry for a bride that's forgotten what it is to love but made herself content with a sort of, uh, sort of fakeness that really isn't very becoming of a bride at all. And then at that point when one bride becomes unlovable or just ugly in any sort of way, I think that that bride might turn on herself and then go into doing different things, you know. But there are things to be learned. There are things to be gained. There is somewhere to go. Because I think that when you found yourself one ugly and one disgusting bride, I think it is possible for oneself to look at oneself and, you know, there are things that we can learn and there's some times when you have to lose everything to really to really start to think and you can lose it all I used to think I could not I used to think I was set or that perhaps the ugliness was a state of being that I could just simply live with but I mean you know if if a beetle can lose his wife at the crossroads well then anybody can lose anything <laughs> you know what I mean uh, but um Anyhow, anyhow, there was a song I heard as I sat in my window. There was a song I heard singing out in the sky as one twisted, maybe one day whole person started to believe in something that was simple enough yet remote enough to be a new song to be something that someone had not heard before, to be something that needed to be heard and could be heard if only one could lose enough to really have the ears to listen, if it could be put just right, and then it could. And that song, that song can change. What is that song? Do you know a beauty inside? Do you know a beauty inside? 
Do you know the beauty inside? As you have a fingerprint on your heart, you have a On your heart, you have a, a fingerprint of beauty and love. And it's only when, when rehearsed words have gone as far as they can go, that we find our hearts touched, that we find ourselves opening up enough and the rich being s screwed enough to find themselves poor. And then again, if on top of all my riches looking down, I would have been asked to let go, I don't think I would have, but being poor, poor actually and poor in spirit, the richest kind of poor, I can allow for my heart to be touched and believe in the, well, the, the audacity of hope. Sing in the same key. We were made to have a hope. No matter what the media says, <laughs> we fill our minds with things that make us feel no control but we have yet a hope we have a hope we have a hope it's calling out our name Take me freedom because I can't live bound the way I've been bound, and I've gained enough to know that losing is the only true way to live. And somehow, in the poorness of self, I find richness and purpose in this dream I've called hope in existence. I'm talking about losing and only then having the hope to actually believe that you might actually win. Right on, guys. Way to go.